Andrew Cuomo has recently signed a bill into law which raises the legal age of marriage consent to 18 in New York. Technically, the practice of marriage below the age of 18 is still legal in 44 U.S. states, and although legislation in 2017 was signed so that those who were younger than 18 could not give consent to be married, 17-year-olds were still able to be married if they were given parental and judicial consent. The law which has been passed in New York is called Nyla's Law, named after Nyla Amin. Nyla Amin is an activist who founded the Nyla Amin Foundation. Nyla has been a strong advocate against child marriages. This is an issue which is close to her heart since Nyla is a survivor of a child marriage. At eight years old, she learned that she was engaged to her cousin. Five years later, at the age of 13, she was part of a nikah ceremony. This is an Islamic marriage which does not include a marriage license. Child marriage is when someone under the age of 18 becomes legally married to an adult. Such minors, more likely girls than boys, are often forced into marriage because of socioeconomic factors by families who want to minimize their economic burden or earn an income as a result of the marriage, according to UNICEF. Religious and cultural norms also contribute to its ongoing practice. The practice is still technically legal in 44 U.S. states, as most allow marriage before 18. Cuomo signed legislation in New York in 2017 that raised the age of consent to marry from 14 to 18, but 17-year-olds could be married with parental and judicial consent. Amin, an activist, founded the Nyla Amin Foundation to help victims of child marriage and has been pushing U.S. states to end it for years. In 2018, she helped New Jersey raise the minimum marriage age to 18, making it the second state to do so. Shortly after, Amin went to New York State Assemblyman Philip Ramos's office in Brentwood on Long Island and told him about being a former child bride. Because of the pandemic, Amin saw the proposed bill start to slip through the cracks. Once she found out that the bill had cleared unanimously, she called Cuomo's office daily to urge him to sign it, leaving her with a feeling of anxiety. She partnered up with Unchained at Last, an organization dedicated to ending forced and child marriage, which promised to begin protesting outside Cuomo's office weekly if the bill wasn't turned into a law. When Cuomo finally signed the bill, making New York the sixth state to ban child marriage, Amin said it felt almost surreal, a very happy feeling. She says, when I found out about it, I was laying on a couch and I just started crying tears of happiness. Amin says this is only the beginning, as her goal is to end child marriage in all 50 states. She is currently working on a federal bill to have U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services raise the spousal sponsorship to 18. Her goals stem from personal experience, as she never got to experience childhood. That's all today about Nyla Amin's story. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Ava Blackwell. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn on bell notifications so that you don't miss out on any of our latest content.